Hey everyone, Gamer Dad here. How's it going, eh? So, Star Citizen came out with their roadmap roundup for February 2nd. It is a doozy. They have basically stated that they do not like the fact that they put their plans down on paper for us. And we take those plans to heart and they say they're going to give us salvage and they say they're going to give us salvage for two years and every quarter they take it off of the roadmap and they push it down the road and we cry about it and they say we don't like the fact that you cry about it so we're just not going to show you that we might be working on it and then you won't cry about it and that's the long letter short is there are certain backers in the community that take everything to heart and the roadmap that we've done for the last six quarters is now too detailed and people don't understand that these are tentative so therefore they can be moved we can run into problems and we can just not get them done. So when that happens, we move it down the road, but people had their hearts set on it already. So they start crying and giving us a lot of bad press about how we're not following through with our commitments. When really we don't think them as, the, as commitments. CIG does not think of their roadmap as a commitment they think of it as a aspiration, basically. So when you think of something as an aspiration and you want to make it the best you can, I get into this problem a lot too, is that you almost become paralyzed with making it perfect. So I believe CIG is basically in a state of paralyzed paralyzation that they are trying to make everything perfect and really in depth and really really good in their mind and to their own detriment they're just not getting anything finished because of it now i give them credit for the last year the last couple of years have been rough on everyone and development and work schedules and everything have not been a fun thing for employers. I realize that I was an employer. I am an employer and it's just a matter of facts in the industry that things slowed down the last couple of years. So despite that fact, CIG has still put out s some features in their year-end video they when they put it all together all the features they had actually looked pretty good and so I can't really fault them for that what I can fault them for is even though they made okay progress on some things the amount of things in this project that need to be finished at the pace they're going, it's going to be another 10 years. And if that's the case, I believe they're going to be outdated by the time they get out there. And that's just my opinion. I mean, you guys can get mad at that. You guys cannot like that. But that would be my thoughts right now is that if they can't man this big place that they're going that they just built that they say they're going to have a thousand employees at and even if they can the amount of progress they make with hundreds of employees right now even if they double those employees or triple them that still doesn't put this timeline in any good place it's still literally years down the road 
for Squadron 42, which we haven't heard anything about for literally two years. So if that's the case, they're going to want to market Squadron 42. If they're not marketing Squadron 42 already this year, that means it's probably not going to come out this year. I just worry for this project and the amount of time that it's taking them to make significant progress on really anything. Now I know a ton of people will tell me that well they've made progress on a ton of things this last year and the last couple of years actually and it's more stable than it's ever been and all those things but the truth of it is in my mind is that when i log in i still have elevator problems i still die from random walking upstairs i still have game breaking bugs that kill me and then take all my stuff away now that they added death of a spaceman so it, the player experience is not a good one it takes you literally a half hour to get to a ship sometimes if you want it's heck you can die on the way to your ship sometimes so i just don't believe that the game is in a state that they should be taking accountability away from themselves they should be making themselves more accountable and maybe just pushing things out a little bit faster but a little less in depth make tier zero actually tier zero we don't have it's beyond mining nothing is past tier zero maybe bounty hunting bounty hunting could be declared as better than tier zero but beyond those two things I mean we're supposed to be able to do everything we can in life you still can't even do cargo runs on a consistent basis without running into bugs or not being able to fill your ship or all those things we still don't have cargo refactoring we've been promised for a long time that cargo hauling should have been the first thing totally finished so I don't know guys it doesn't look good in my mind they are taking away their accountability even more so they are taking away the overview of the features that we thought we would get that's another problem that we have with this whole project is they've given us no actual layout of what exploration is going to be what salvage is going to be what basically anything beyond mining and bounty hunting so all they've told us is going to be a great open world sandbox that we can do anything we want what are we going to be driving us to explore if we only have five systems to start a hundred systems when we're finished I mean everybody with a jump point scanner and locator what are you going to be locating just the next system that we've already visited because there's only five systems so there's only going to be five jump points to get to those five systems if you find another jump point you're just going to be jumping to those systems again right you won't be discovering any new moons you won't be discovering any new planets the only things we'll possibly be able to dis discover is things on the existing planets and moons so I really think CIG needs to sit down and actually get a plan for these things and show us what we're gonna have in the end and then they have to have some sort of timeline that they have to abide by we are 10 years into this project 
we're minimum another two years before even one part of it, which would hopefully be Squadron 42, will be released. But I don't believe that will be this Christmas. I will be surprised if it's next Christmas. And if it doesn't come for the Christmas of 2025, I think they're going to be in trouble because there's going to be some very established space games by then. And this whole area is going to blow up in the next couple of years. And if CIG doesn't get in on it and start making this a real player, player experience when they have their free flies and I mean tutorials, I mean get the new people so that they can actually get in a ship and fly it without having to spend three hours figuring it out. If they don't get on these things, um, there's been a lot of acquisitions lately. Uh, Microsoft, Xbox is literally buying up the biggest game developers in the world to make games that rival this. That is their goal without a doubt. They will be making open world sandbox games. They will be coming into this genre because they know it's going to be a ton of money and they know there's a lot of people who want it. So if CIG doesn't get on this in the next couple of years, in my opinion, they're going to miss the boat. And by the time they're finished, their graphics are going to be out of date. Their entire thing is just not going to hold up. And if that's the case, there's going to be a lot of people upset. And I want the best for this. I've followed, I played Wing Commanders when I was young. I played it in grade school. It was some of the best memories I have really of computer gaming in my childhood so that's why I follow this that's why I want to get into creating content for it but this year is going to be my first year really getting into it and I don't have too much hope for this letter I don't have hope for the fact that they don't want accountability anymore and I don't have hope for the progress that they're moving at right now. I've watched it very closely for years now and I was even there when they did the initial fundraising for it and I was watching that thinking yes I want another wing commander I love the wing commanders and if I could have an open world wing commander that'd be the best but I just don't see it happening fast enough right now. They need to put it out. They need to make it move along a lot faster. And to have that, they must have accountability of some kind. And the more and more they move away from the accountability, I believe the less they're going to get done. So, I don't know. I guess time will tell. We'll just have to wait and see. I really hope that this year is... I hope I'm wrong. And I hope they have a great year. And I hope they put out salvage. And I hope they have jump points. And I hope we have another system that we can go to. And I hope all of those things. And I wish for those things. I just don't think it's going to happen. Let me know what you think, guys. Have a good one. Uh, I will be doing some more. And obviously I won't be playing too much Star Citizen right now because they've basically gutted the next patch as well. There's no new features coming in hardly. They have a bar patron that will serve you from a hot coffee dispenser or something like that. So they've added that to the game. They've also added a new Gravlev system. They've also added a new Gravlev a uh, vehicle that you can buy a quad from the nomad or from the consolidated so yeah you can spend more money it doesn't work really any better gravlev works better and i guess the barman is going to work better for you for a bit but even gravlev to me i mean 
it looks kind of janky and I think it needs to be smoothed out as well so yet another thing that's just not quite there yet right so have a good one guys let me know what you think I will talk to you later bye bye